Hi guys, today I want to do a quick video on some popsicles that I usually love making for my daughter. Right now in Southern California, which is where I live in Los Angeles, it's really hot. So I prefer to make her her own pops popsicles instead of going to the store and buying popsicles that have all these like weird ingredients. And I look on, usually look online. You can go on Pinterest or you can even go on YouTube and find all kinds of recipes. But this is just a recipe that I came up with that's pretty delicious and she really likes it. So let me show you guys what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to be making a chocolate peanut butter uh, popsicle. And what I'm going to be using are the Ikea popsicle molds. I prefer if I could find some stainless steel ones, but the only ones that I have found on like Amazon, for example, that are stainless steel are made in China. So I'll probably purchase those, but I wish I could find some uh, US made stainless steel ones. These are just the basic ones from Ikea. They're not my favorite. I mean, they're good in the sense that uh, the popsicles come out really easily, but I hate the fact that they're plastic. But anyways, okay, so I'm gonna be making these uh, today. So what the ingredients that I'm gonna be using are um, some cacao powder. You can use any kind. I'm just using the one from Trader Joe's. And I'm also going to be using some basic peanut butter. You can use pretty much any brand. I try to stick to organic, but this is what I have right now. This isn't organic, but it is unsalted. And then I'm also going to be using some basic 0% uh, Greek yogurt. It's completely plain. There's no added sugars. This is just from Trader Joe's. Again, if you can find some organic Greek yogurt, that would probably be better. And the last ingredient, well, actually there's two more ingredients. I'm going to be using some vanilla extract. And I'm also going to be using some frozen bananas. So I'm gonna use one frozen banana in my recipe. So all I do is I grab my Vitamix. Uh, you can use a food processor, but I have a Vitamix. I prefer the Vitamix just because it really blends everything really well. I'm just going to stick the frozen banana in my blender. So I'm gonna be using about one fourth cup of peanut butter. Doesn't have to be exact, but you know, you can try it before you put it in the popsicle molds. And I'm gonna be using about half a cup of Greek yogurt. And again, these popsicles are perfect for like hot weather or just any time pretty much that you wanna make something sweet for your kids and you don't wanna buy them at the store because they have all these like nasty ingredients. But, um, and even if they don't, like the natural ones that you buy at the store, they're so expensive. So this is so easy to make. And then I'm also gonna be doing one fourth teaspoon of vanilla extract. Okay. And, then... and the last thing I'm gonna do is add some cacao powder. And I'm probably gonna add about a little bit less than one fourth of a cup. And then I'll taste it and see if it tastes good. Okay, I'm just gonna pour that in there. And that's it. And I'll blend this sucker up. And the last ingredient before we blend is, actually I forgot to tell you guys, is almond milk. Just a little bit of almond milk. You can kind of eyeball it, but usually it's about one fourth of a cup because you want it to blend smoothly so you can pour it into the popsicle molds. So I already poured that in here and I'm just going to blend. Now I'm just gonna check it and make sure it is perfect, and you can even give it a taste test, which is exactly what I'm gonna do right now. It's pretty good. <laughs> and so that's it. Now I'm just gonna pour them into my popsicle molds. Just a little bit there. All right, now that I have the chocolate poured in there, all I'm gonna do is stick these in there into the popsicle molds. And that's pretty much it. And you definitely gotta try this recipe out for your kids. Uh, my daughter loves them. I also make some that are just pure fruit, like literally nothing on them, like strawberry and peach, and that's it. And a little bit of almond milk, and I'll add chia seeds and all kinds of things in there, nutritious things. So you can get creative with these popsicles. So I hope you guys try this recipe out and your family enjoys them. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And if you have, I definitely appreciate it. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Talk to you guys later. Bye.